enable this kind of roaming Camille. Um, it's going to be rough. It's going to be the, the standard rise into Castle here, so not too many surprises overall. We just need to flash for flash in the end, and so has the lane control. Now that lane is seem, seemingly frozen in front of the turret. Oh, Broxa coming in one more time. Senkux no cleanse as we talked about earlier. There's the follow-up. Senkux gonna fall too. First blood drops. Yeah, we gotta question the kooks here. If the least in was spotted on Respect to you. I like free ELO too. I like point and click abilities. They're easy. Let the boy do it for you. Here's another one of those roams that Fnatic love doing and that Spice was notoriously bad against last week. Oh, Let's see no. if it works. 2v3. Trash is just gonna get popped. Now they're gonna go right in onto Wonder. So as keeping him in the cage, the Hextech ultimatum. The ultimatum is death and Fnatic 3-0 up. Yeah, and that's that the one doesn't count. But, oh, you know, Trashy in mid lane. Oh, Ooh, miscommunication oh, as well. Forward. Looking for the outplay. In comes the Realm Warp. He's gonna get one. Can he get two? Now ported behind Senkux. Exhaust goes that's down. He wants to get it. Cats? Can he do it? Shut down from Senkux. <laughs> <laughs> Capsa was like, if the portal is here anyways, I may as well try, right? Going for the 1v2. That was really well played at the start, really cocky at the end. Oh, Ooh, there it is! Style points to Broxa. I did it last week as well. <laughs> Do what Fnatic did earlier in roaming bots, but it's it's really hard to catch these guys if they have the wave clear. Obviously, 4v2 becomes a lot easier. Miasma, heal goes out. Reckless is in trouble, trying to get down a bit of damage. Throws out the ultimate. It's not going to be enough. Jez is holding on for dear life, but he's locked down. Staring contest comes out. Double kill drops. Splice coming back. Yeah, really good answer from Splice. Because that's the only thing they could do. They were they lost the top side completely. Um, but Fnatic still cleared the wave early. Ultimate. I'm looking for a little bit more. The precision protocol comes out. Brox is taking a lot of damage, but not enough to end his life. And again, Wunder dies. You, you know they're two in the top the side. Pressure all the more threatening. And Fnatic have a massive lead at this stage of the game, and I feel like it's got to be desperation, but that ult comes out. Broxa potentially the one to get caught. All ultimate's going to be burned there, but more than enough to seal the deal. Yeah, Broxa a little deep. Now, in 1v1, you could sacrifice a player. Yeah, Trash, he's setting up for something there. Fnatic doesn't quite have the vision covered. Reckless has been caught out. There's the lockdown. Deadly Flourish goes in. Curtain Call comes out. Who's going to get it? Trash is on the front line. He's kicked back. The follow-up goes in for Broxa. He's going to grab one. There goes the Hextech ultimatum. Soaz wants to find the fight. The lockdown. The bomb comes in. And double kill going to drop for Caps. He's the unseen predator on the backside. Rise locking him up. Taking him to prison. And Splice are getting cut down. Nothing can stop this Fnatic squad. You cannot fall. Splice for trying because it actually was the right. However, Senkuk's dying in the mid lane to a gank. The Lee Sin, despite having vision, having much more agency on the map, then Splice, they're getting a lot disappointed. Like, it's really important for them now to keep their morale up for the next Fnatic. You bought some credits here, so uh, There he goes. Probably set to fall. He's locked up in the Hextech ultimatum. So I was just going to take one and walk away. Just one. Now, I do like that combo. The Camille ulti into the Ziggs ulti. It's like inescapable. He's in the base all alone. Does have flash to go to the wall. He has a QSS, that's why Mickey's not ulting for anybody wondering at home. Goes down, South Sharks goes in there, set to the fall. Mickey gets stunned up. That's gonna be a kill. So as now trying to make it out, but getting lower and lower. Tactical sweep, not gonna get anything. Senkux kick back. Cap's going wide. Out comes the current call. One's gonna drop. Splice. A bit of a reprieve here, but inhibitor drops. I love how dead said Broxa is on never getting hit by Cassiopeia ulti. He now flashed behind the cast, could have done the same thing. And I think aside from the, the nice alt combo with the Camille. What did the Ziggs really do? I Cash. mean, the bot lane was irrelevant in this game. Oh. Um, so we can't judge. Soaz and Caps especially, they were the main heroes of this game. Broxa caught out though. Is he going to be able to dodge another ult? He does not look like it. Ooh, one more shot. Are oh, they holding it? Where is it going to... Oh, okay, Jezus blocks it. Caps now on the side. This has got to be disastrous. Trash is set to fall. Bouncing bomb. Not going to connect. Caps moving forward. He gets one. Deadly Flourish is going to lock him up. Fnatic with a slow and steady closeout here after an absolutely dominant early game. Senkuk still with ulti, maybe looking for one last shot, but the game is most assuredly over. Does finally land the stun, but it's not going to be enough as the exhaust comes out. Senkux is doomed to fall, and Fnatic are going to move up 1-0 over Splice in this best of three. <laughs> Look at Reckless. <laughs> he was like frantically tapping caps because there's this inside joke that Caps, every time they end the game, turns toward Reckless and gets ignored. So Reckless is like, no, no, I see you, I see you, I see you. And he gets tapped. I love how we can follow this into the future. So yeah, very really clean, uh, easy victory for Fnatic. I love we need to see what the answer is going to be in the mid lane against LeBlanc. This it is does seem like the Malzahar goes mid here and the Misfortune goes to the support. But still, it is 
It's a rough matchup for, for, for the Lord. So has no flash for the flash taunt. Broxa needs to find a slow to try to get the setup. Moving forward, can wonder sidestep. Taunt does land, does heal up to cleanse it immediately. Looks like they're gonna go That's for the it. dive. First blood again. And this is so crucial because if you lose that flash advantage, and you do yeah. is call away from bad fights. I ever see Broxa set up here. Oh, Red Curtis flash in. Shen's coming in as well. This could be massive. Senkux is on the back side, but the chains do not connect. So as is moving forward, Gangplank called to look for the disengage, but that is a clean pick coming in for Fnatic. Yeah, Gangplank ulti was used. Wounded canceled teleport as well. So Fnatic getting a lot of this play. They have teleport. Oh, so as going in. forward. Oh, that is so much damage. And at the end of the day, Senkux is going to get one back, but it's the one for one. Senkux isn't done yet, though. Has to pull back. Dead twice. Look like they have the man advantage for now. Broxa taking low. Senkux wants to go and he's kicked back. Oh, Broxa! Oh! You sexy oh! monster! It doesn't matter if it's Cassie. Because as we mentioned, Splice have these kind of nice side lane setups. But Broxa's maybe looking to make a play of his own. Mickey X kicked in the walls. Chen goes in. That's the pick that they wanted. Now it's Trashy all on his lonesome. Four shot connects, as does the Deadly Flourish. Senkux leaping forward. Caps potentially trouble. There's the Gangplank ult on the back side. It's not going to find anybody. But the fight is not done yet. Disengage. Ooh, look at the teleport here. It's Caps flanking. Seems it's like Enzo was double TP on a single ward. Mickey's not here, forward. this is double pincer. Splice, Mickey's way too far away. Senkux is left on his lonesome, they're moving in onto Trashy, going forward, but Wonder's gonna grab a kill, he flashes over the wall. Trashy set to fall. Now it's Senkux in trouble, but he has the footwork, he's got the mobility to make it out. Brox is not looking to give him a clean escape, flash to safety. Fnatic, nice flank in the end. And that's how you really capitalize. Spell shield is like, oh, I guess I'm dead right now. And now Fnatic, they reap the benefits of this play by starting oh, Baron. Senkux. Held still, Mickey now the one in trouble, Reckless goes forward, not even worried about getting knocked oh. up, but he should be, the shutdown comes in, Wonders looking to clean up, he's already got two, last game, you can't throw a Baron if you don't do Baron, but they try it this time, and it's not looking good, Fnatic, throw it all away in the pit. Uh, maybe I was a little early, but I'll talk about Oh, Wonder. Oh. A lot of damage here. Isn't going to try to cleanse out. Has to run away. It's a lot of mobility. Redemption goes in. He's going to get healed up. So has made a bit off more more than he could chew. Broxa can't even get the follow up. And Senkux out of nowhere. Wonder is going to get shut down. But Senkux is going to look to clean up here. Slowly taking down the healing reduction means Soaz is not going to get much of anything. And that's the double kill in the end. Yeah, really good idea for Fnatic. They tried to attack it, but Senkux was just there much better. Everyone else hated it, but it was fun. All right, pick off attempt here in the bottom lane on Soas. It's gonna be the all right too way. easy. I mean, there's just nothing for him to do here. Wonder, all too easy for him to try to clean this up. Soas dashes away. Senkux now on a rampage. Yeah, the problem is the Fnatic can't answer in the mid lane. So they drafted like a suppression. At least in to take these. Yes, this could be a defining moment for Broxa, but the Baron's in a brush, so they don't actually have vision. He has to guess entirely. Now, Reckless Barrel. reveals it, so they know it's a 3k. DPS stops, Senkux goes in. Senkux leaves, backs out, loses a little bit of health, but does dissuade them from going in. They have vision. Broxa wants to go for it. Can he get it? No, Wonder's gonna grab it in the end. Broxa makes it to safety, but it's Splice with the Baron. Yeah, it was an entire guessing is going a little long, and Saber has a spell shield, plus she's out of range most of the time. This Malzahar is not able to influence this game, especially not from behind. It's just be so infuriating to go from Rise, where you had all the impact in the world, from your top laner being fed and ahead, to dying in the 1v1. Yeah, and it started so well for Fnatic here with the uh, uh, return gank from Brox, a snowballing top side, but the, the, the set of beautiful rotations from Splice, really playing around the Shen ultimate, and allowing them to get even more of an advantage using Cannon Barrage is what propelled them in the early game, and they technically never let go. It's important. Context, people. Context. Of course, going in on a Mickey, maybe looking for the pick here. Soaz tries to find the flank. That's exactly how they want to start the fight. Soaz moving forward. They're just a little bit too tanky, but Reckless is getting zoned out on the backside. They're all grouped up. They want to keep going. Brox is getting locked up by Daisy. Copy so low, but there's no one there to do the damage. Reckless gonna execute Daisy. There's a gangplank fight going on ah. here in the bottom lane. Double kill for Wonder, but Reckless cleans that up. That means three members on each side remain. Good to see. Splice still with the gold lead. Fnatic potentially in trouble. Reckless blocks what he can with Edge of Night. Senkux takes him so low. The shield coming in. Safeguard to buy just a bit of time, but how long before the mobility is up? Broxa trying to bait him out. Two Drakes as well will be a significant amount of true damage, and that backed up with the 6k gold lead could be the final nail in the coffin for Fnatic. Yeah, because you just see, barring any uh, engage mistakes, it's so hard for Fnatic to actually have the advantage. But look how quick this Baron's falling here. Broxa just finds out they're starting it. That's One, two seconds. Now his Q's on cooldown. Now he has to go for the blind guess. Well, curtain call comes out. This can steal it, but Daisy's in position to block. Third shot. Oh, they're looking for the burst with the fourth shot plus oh. Lee Q. I think Spice is actually in a bad spot if Reckless goes for the shot. 
Little 304, Daisy getting knocked down. Brox is gonna go in. Ooh. No, Trashy's gonna get it. That's the redemption story. Trashy takes it away. Trashy takes it away, but Splice left room for Fnatic to get this Nasher. I don't think you should be that happy. Yes, you should be. That's what you should be doing if you're a motto. It's <laughs> now a call. The damage, but Senkox is running forward. Gets locked up. QSS is out. Gangplank all to make sure that Senkox is pretty comfortable to move forward. All from Jezus to clear the waves. Wonder moves forward. Splice just continue to choke out Fnatic. The Baron buffs in their favor. That is way too many cannon creeps, way too many super minions, but this is the last stand. Broxa gets locked up to disengage there. Broxa cannot move forward. Soaz is all alone in the back line. He blocks what he can. Broxa wants to go in, but he doesn't get anything. Finally, Senkux will drop, but it's the Nexus that's going to drop against Fnatic and Splice who are going to take it to a series. And that's a game three in this series right here. Splice taking the second game. So in terms of motivation and confidence, they should be on the up and up. But that does mean I think that the side selection goes to Fnatic for game three. Yep. We need to confirm that. But they were heavily pinched in the top lane and they were forced to adapt. And I like this. Just like more... Uh, yeah, wave clear and mobility on this mid pick as well from the Corky and then there as well. The potential yeah. to just blow one target up is massive when you look Mickey at the damage. Could have actually just straight up died right there. Now Mickey's oh. going in. He may die right here. Gets kicked back. Follow up goes in. That's another first blood for Broxa. TP's coming. Not going to get completed. Running for his life. It's Cobb it's equal, but you can see who's keeping the lane pushed. Uh, ulti comes out, they want to get to Reckless or slow down Karma here. Trash is going in, this could be the double, looking for the reset. It's a lot of damage on Jez as they can't quite get it yet. Deadly Flourish not going to come out, but Mickey Mage just give his life. Pulls back, flashes the hook. Yeah. Playing with fire there, Splice get the one kill back. Corky on a side lane with Package, he can handle that for about a minute though, but they need to make something happen here. Open up, maybe Package, Jin ulti, something. Oh, curtain call, that is the ultimate we're looking for. Death Sentence, is it gonna connect? Does land onto Jezus, this could be good, but Trash is gonna get locked down, and he's locked down under tower. The stealth doesn't mean anything. One auto for Reckless, it's just the one for one. Yeah, your invisibility means nothing here, says the tower. Trashy falls on the damage. It is really hard for Splice to really cancel the Wellmark channel. Uh, Broxa leaps to safety, Equalizer goes down. Brox doesn't really have anywhere to run, but behind Jezus, good body block comes out. Oh, nice final shot to kill Jezus. He's the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, he had 20 seconds left on that flash right there, so not much he could Game do. Game two once again. Yeah, map lead for Spice because they have teleport advantage, so they just need to force something. But here is oh, Fnatic, Mickey, the one forcing. Fnatic wants to go in. Mickey knocks him back. He's still going to get burned. Kabi's going to go for a kill. Not going to be enough damage. Oh, gets him in the end. Senkux locked up so he can't follow the Realm Warp. Equalizer goes down. This is Tranchy's chance to sign. The exhaust goes in, but it's Kabi who's going to start cleaning up house. Wonder moving forward. Caps looking for the knockdown. Here comes the charge from the Kled. He can't cancel it! He's going right to his own death, but can he get one in exchange? So as running for his life, the pocket pistol, but it's the curtain call. The bigger guns win the fight and Splice clean up. Yeah, shine bright like a challenger for Splice right there. What an aggressive move by Fnatic, but why would you ever engage when you don't have teleport advantage? I don't oh, think that's going to kill. Trashy. No. Ooh. Edge Knight blocks the deadly flourish. But why? Would you make that move, Fnatic? What a punish from Spice. The teamwork. The oh! turn. Reckless gets sniped. Yeah, look at him. He knows. What? He just dodged a deadly flourish with Edge of Night. So they must have had vision on him. So they don't, they don't randomly cast this into the Wraith. Apparently they had vision on Brox as well because he's dead and Baron is very much in the eyes of Splice. Could be a throw though. These are five squishy members that don't tank very well. They do a lot of damage. So Caps, as again as well. He's moving forward. Equalizer goes down on the backside. There's so many low members in the pit. The Baron is low. Smite comes down onto it. Kabi is left alone looking for the duel with Soaz. Gets the fourth shot out, but it's not enough. The remaining members of Splice take down Caps with the arrows coming up. No missed time this time, but not enough. If it wasn't for the exhaust for Mickey, that was a watch. Not going to find it. Power goes low, Alt comes out, Wonder's in trouble, Realm Warp's coming in, Wonder's left alone, and he's just set him up to go golden, just to drop in the end, Equalizer to dish out the damage, but Fnatic find the pick. Yeah, Wonder's so desperately trying to react to good sides of Vajezza, 1-2, hook call. goes wide. Spice will clear the mid lane and look for the rinse and repeat, but Fnatic may be the ones looking for the fight. They're split up, they walk down Wonder, Equalizer comes out, that's a good setup, Curtain Call going in, Trash on the backside, looking for the 1v1 on Soas, he makes it out, but he's ticking down, Deathfire touch, not gonna be enough. Mickey on the front side. Caps goes in, that's gonna be big. Wonder's gonna get taken down. No Zanyas from the last play. Means Fnatic find the kill, but they're low, and they have to play smart. Yeah, it has a mid lane turret here. So here. as, here comes the charge. It's Mr. Kled's wild ride, and Mickey's gonna be up. He gets burned down. Zencox could be next. Joust forward, looking for a bit more of a kill. That might be too greedy, but So as is unconcerned. Mr. Kled a little crazy right there. <laughs>
All right, too deep. <laughs> too deep for Soas, but I like I like the whole setup here. Both plays were really interesting to follow. Chances oh. drops. Oh. There was a random uh, trap there, I think. Did he walk on a trap, or maybe he just spawned a trap? What we talk about, we've been waiting to see it. It happens 36 minutes in, and Ooh, this could be massive. another one. That's a massive equalizer. Caps gets popped. This is going to be all too easy as Splice find a pick, and it could be the Elder Dragon. Next. Yeah, they can just start this Elder right now, force United to contest, and look for more leaps forward here. What a beautiful equalizer from Wunder. Roxa waiting in the wings. Can he steal this? Q goes in. Next, holding, patient. Splice waiting, get it in the end. Nice patience on the burst. Yeah, and that's the communication you need from Splice. Hold out the Lee Sin Q and then call a burst moment. 2K. Look, they're setting up for a potential well mark too. And you can drop Soas maybe top right and then have a multi from behind. Flash hook connects on the Bronx. That's a good start to the fight. Lee Sin's gonna get taken out. Mickey with the trick play. Soas on the front line. Equalizer to look for the disengage. Wonder flashes forward. Has the Zarnia's up and available. Someone needs to tank the tower aggro. Kavi's gonna make the hero play. They pull back. He'll take a little bit extra, but Splice are gonna grab the tower. Yeah, that was a good. Oh. Nice oh. going. Going in, charging into the front lines, looking to find something. So as is going to get anything in the yeah. end, but Mickey's going to get caught out. That's a massive pick for Fnatic. I love seeing this punish because this is a mistake and was completely unnecessary oh, for Splice. Caps now, is Caps. going in. Nice shield coming in on the Saracen Embrace. Kick back. Caps knocks him down. And guess what? It's 45 seconds to Barrow. Why not? Crashing in. Someone needs to respond. Splice advancing onto the Baron. Lee Sin backing off. This That's will be rough. the Baron for Splice. Fnatic. Rash from Fnatic, but they knew it, they were with their backs against the wall here. Baron drops 8k gold up. Reckless reacting. Flash oh, forward, flash out, charge goes in. Trashy looks to be the one who's going to get caught up. Pulled back to the team, and in comes Wonder. Almost perfect timing, Soaz needs to find a way out. Looking for the Realm War back. Curtain call going in. Jezus might be the sacrificial lamb. Broxa wants to go in for the save. Kicks two back. Soaz still alive. Guardian Angel ticking down. Wonder so low. Caps on the front lines. Kabi going to find a kill onto Broxa. Splice in absolute control. Yeah, Splice, read the re-engage from Fnatic right now. Caps is under pressure. Moving He's dropping back, low. Isolated. He's going to drop. That's the double kill from Kavi. Mickey brings it into the fight, but they're under the towers. The damage sources are all but dead, and Splice are cleaning up after a terrible game one. They find a way back in game two, and here in game three, they might just win it. Yeah, Fnatic pulled the trigger decisively in doing so, but they also revealed it too early. It was too easy for Splice to walk back. It was too easy for them to kite, and it's now too easy for them to take the final Nexus turret. One tower drops, another to fall. They're burning down Fnatic. They want the members. They want the base. They want the series. Splice, find the win. And you can see the strain this series put on both teams here. Splice, Yamato, very relieved, but this team definitely knows he came too close. I mean, on the other side for Fnatic, we talked about how much both teams need to find the win here. And it has to feel crushing. He's so close to victory. And not to be able to find it in the end. But Splice, so critical in the first couple games about their communication. These small moments where everything fell apart. But when it really mattered, when it counted most, they brought it together. And so much of that was wonder and the equalizers, but also the team being there to follow up immediately. Yeah. <laughs>